Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and thanks for uh, taking a little bit of your time out of the day to check the video out, much appreciated. Just out here on the, the deck this morning, it's pretty early in the morning still. It's, man, it started, you know, you guys probably noticed it's starting to get just a little bit cooler every night and uh, that always bums me out because I, I am not ready for cold weather yet. If it was up to me, I'd be fishing in shorts and a t-shirt all year. So uh, even though I have to fish a lot in the cold weather, I don't like fishing in the cold weather. But anyway, today's video, um, I wanted to do a preview of the Bass Pro Shops US Open on Table Rock in November. I've been getting a ton of people sending me messages about it. You know, you guys know I do uh, on the water lessons on Table Rock Lake. I've been, been on Table Rock constantly the past year and <laughs> my inbox has been getting hammered with uh, people in that tournament or uh, preparing for that tournament want some want some info for it so I'm going to give you guys sort of you know my insight to that tournament sort of how I think it's going to go down and uh, probably do a couple more follow-ups on it because the tournament's not till November but I've been getting such a such interest in it I wanted to talk about it a little bit so I a lot of you guys or a lot of people out there uh, you know they probably never fished the lake they're going to be in that tournament by the way what an opportunity you know chance to win a million dollars you know for i think it's a 400 dollars entry fee so that's an unbelievable opportunity bass pros given you know the weekend anglers but uh table rock you know i'll talk a little bit about it here in the, when you're fishing a tournament in table rock uh you know any time of the year specifically in november one of the things that you have to deal with or one of the things that you have to formulate in your game plan is the other anglers because i believe there's 250 boats in that tournament so when you're dealing with a tournament that has 250 boats in it which a lot of the ones i fish bassmaster opens toyota series do you have got to factor in boat pressure fishing pressure as much as you do any other variable in the tournament such as weather you know seasonal movements whatever it's an it's a factor in the tournament so my prediction in this tournament is going to be based upon that that element as well so table rock in november guys if you guys have you know never fished the lake before you or even if you have the biggest factor in the tournament i mean aside from the, the boats is going to be the weather Table Rock Lake, it's it's a clear water fishery, even though it's not as clear as it used to be. I've talked about this before, about the, the pollutants coming into the lake and the overdevelopment is making the water more colored, but it's still considered a clear water impoundment. <clears throat> and, and with Table Rock, um, specifically in the mid to late fall, when that tournament is, is bass are going to be all over the place there's going to be fish in shallow water there's going to be fish in deep deep water there's going to be fish suspended um since table rock has three different species of fish you can literally catch bass from two feet down to 60 feet in november and everywhere in between they're really all over that water column and the weather plays a huge part in what works best day to day particularly on the bigger fish so it's like any other place. I'm notoriously, if you get those nasty days that say, say during the tournament, during the U.S. Open, they happen to roll up on one of those days where it's just raining and windy and nasty, that's going to open up a variable of shallow water fish to win that tournament that wouldn't exist if, say, you have just, you know, light winds and sunny conditions. Um, so you, when you're formulating a game plan for the U.S. Open, you can't really get locked into how you want to fish because it is so weather dependent and everything in between you know you have different variations of light intensity that really affect the bite on that lake that time of year and uh, it may create like an hour by hour deal to change so anyway my prediction for the tournament here if you tell if you would tell me okay ready it's going to be just a typical mid-november uh, day here in southwest missouri temperatures may be you know, in the low 60s, light winds, partly cloudy conditions, just to say, say a typical day. Under those conditions, I'm gonna say this tournament is gonna get one very deep for suspended bass. And I'm talking about like fishing a swim bait deep, I'm talking about fishing a drop shot, maybe a football head, something in that 35 to 60 foot zone, both suspended and both on the bottom. 
that time of year you lose your thermocline so you know you could they could be on the bottom as well as they could suspend it but there's going to be a lot of big spotted bass um, to be caught under those conditions and also one of the reasons i think that the deep bite is going to win that tournament is because it's going to be able to withstand the fishing pressure um, a lot of the, what i'm talking about is going to be live scope dominated type fishing uh, it's going to be little random schools that don't set up on hard structure and i really feel that that's probably going to win the tournament under normal conditions now if you have let's go to the opposite end of that say you have one of those days where it's blowing they wake up in the morning and it's cloudy and it's blowing 20 miles an hour that time of year you can catch really good bags of fish at table rock on an alabama rig or spinnerbait and you're you can catch them in two different type of deals you can catch the spinnerbait fish very shallow that are capitalizing on specific you know windy type areas uh, areas that the bigger fish pulled up onto temporarily or you can fish you can catch those uh, bass that are sort of in between the deep and shallow taking advantage again of the wind and the nasty weather on that alabama rig middle of november is not too early for an alabama rig on Tabor Rock lake i mean there, i that tournament it could definitely get one on an alabama rig under the right conditions or the spinnerbait mid-november they start biting the jerk bait a little bit but you don't you don't catch your big fish on a jerk bait on Tabor rock lake normally until after the first of the year when it gets closer to the pre-spawn i mean they they start biting it and you can catch them on it <coughs> excuse me from now on until until april but the, the winning type fish on those usually come a little bit later in the year. Now, another variable with that is, you know, you've got several major river arms on Table Rock Lake that have some, some really off colored water in it. There's always somebody, um, I don't care when you're fishing, at what time of year at Table Rock Lake, including November, if you've got uh, 10, the top 10 people in the tournament, there's always one or two guys that catch them fishing shallow up in the dirty water, creek and river arms. We're talking about, you know, cranking, fishing a jig, fishing a spinnerbait, fishing shallow, dirty targets. That's, that's always an option. I don't see that winning the U.S. Open simply because of the number of boats in the tournament, but uh, you could have a high finish in that particular. Did you just wake up? Huh, you did? <laughs> well, I just woke up out of bed. Okay, have a seat. I'm gonna finish the video here, okay? So uh, You've got that variation. So you've got the river fish You've got you know the the wind generated cloud generated fish and you've got the suspended deep fish traditionally um, One of those three patterns guys is gonna win this tournament. I mean there's it's in my opinion There's a 90% chance that this, this it's either gonna win, be one super super deep suspended on the bottom mid-depth power fishing with bad weather conditions or the long shot would be shallow water fishing up the river one of those three is going to win but i'll do some more videos on this as the tournament gets uh, later on i mean there'll be conditional change that come up but i think it's worth talking about this is a huge event there's been a lot of interest in it across the country you know how often do you get a fish for a million dollars so uh Anyway, that's uh, my two cents on it. So stay tuned. We'll be back more with some other updates on this tournament. And again, guys, just uh, thanks for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and we'll see y'all later.